Okay, this one is a YA graphic novel. Laura Dean keeps breaking up with me. And um, plot wise, it's okay. Um, our main character, she, um, so she keeps dating this girl, Laura Dean. And Laura Dean is kind of not a nice girlfriend. She just, like, she's self-centered. And everything has to be about her and everything on her schedule. And so when she says, Laura Dean keeps breaking up with me, yeah, it's because Laura Dean is so selfish that if the relationship doesn't fit with what she's doing at that minute, she's just going to ditch the relationship and expect um, her, her main, the main character to be like, right there with her when she comes back and, and you know, that's just not, that's just not cool. It's just not the way to do things. And, um, and so, um, yeah, our girl, bless her heart. She keeps trying to figure out like, does she need to wait on Laura Dean? Not wait on Laura Dean. Does she, um, does she ignore friendships? In favor of Laura Dean, can she can she go hang out with other people? Does she start new relationships, you know, um, dating relationships once Laura Dean's dumped her for the umpteenth billionth time? Um, you know, just all of that stuff, and she's trying to figure it all out, and and it just ping pongs through the whole book. And she does figure it out by the end, but it's kind of like one of those ho-hum kind of stories. It's okay. There's not a lot of de character development. There's not a lot of plot development. It's just constant over-dating. No, we're not. Over-dating. No, we're not. So, I mean, it's a cute little, cute little graphic novel um, that doesn't take long to read. So it might be interesting to read for, for fun. Um, but for me, it just didn't have, like... I wish the main, I wish the main character had some more development. I really do. Um, sorry, her name is Freddie. I keep forgetting. Um, I wish the graphic novel had shown. I wish they'd used some thought bubbles in it. They tried to do it all with like speech bubbles and this weird like. Right. Um. She's been emailing an advice columnist throughout it, but. She's so sketchy with her emails to the vice advice columnist because she doesn't want to tell her what's really going on. And she doesn't want to tell her like really what she's thinking. She really wants the advice columnist to just tell her what to do. And so you really don't get that inner turmoil that she's going through that I wish was present in the narrative. Um, I think it could have been done better. Um, I think it could have been done with, with a lot of the, the wonderful, things that are available in graphic novels and especially with this advice columnist situation because this is she could have done like a whole confessional thing here and and kind of gone back and forth with this advice columnist but our author didn't do that she left the advice columnist silent until the very end um and or she just could have gone with i don't know you lady so i'm going to unload everything on you and see how it rolls that would have worked or Thought bubbles, hello. Graphic novels need thought bubbles occasionally. There's nothing but speech bubbles in here. So, um, not my favorite, but it's okay. Laura Dean keeps breaking up with me. Um, this book was reviewed by the district for a curriculum book, and um, it is not going to be in the curriculum because it did not meet the standards for the unit, aka it wasn't a well enough written graphic novel for us to use it in the classroom. So, um, yeah, and I, I kind of agree with them. Just not well enough written, but it's cute. It'll be a fun read. Um, I borrowed that book, so it's going back to its owner, but I'm sure that you would be able to find it at bookstores or um, probably the high school library when you get to high school, that kind of stuff.